It's Monday, ready to start a new week and uh, a new day to the new week. So we'll get uh, our live stream up and running and see who is joining us this Monday morning. All right, looks like we are going. And we have uh, Joelle, good job, and peeps on the west side, good morning, Virginia, good morning, Frank, good morning to you this Monday morning, and good morning to you, and we're going to do Galatians 3, 1 through 7, Galatians 3, 1 through 7, good morning, Rennie and Gray, good to see you, uh, good to see you ladies yesterday, um, Miss Kayla, good morning to you up in Canada. Judy and Matt, good morning to you. Um, Cheryl, good morning to you. Thanks for the subways. That was a huge hit with the working crew. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. Emma Ledbetter, good morning to you. Um, what's up, Ilya? Good morning. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Zach, good morning, brother. Uh, hope you guys have a uh, good, nice, uh, beautiful day in California working away. It is absolutely dismal here today. Gray, major wind, just blowing like crazy. Kind of been rain and wind all night long. And uh, it is a great day to not go outside from the looks of it. Um, good morning, Andrea. Good to see you on here this morning. Justin, good to see you, brother. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you this morning. Randy, good morning to you up in Bonners. Daisy, good morning to you. And uh, Michelle and Rylan, what's up, uh, ladies? Good morning. Um, Judy Watson, good morning to you. Probably on your drive-in in this crazy weather today. Ingrid, good morning. And uh, Tammy, uh, good morning. And if Bruce is with you, good morning to the both of you. Miss Amy, good morning to you. All right, we are, uh, Karen, what's up? Uh, we are gonna get into uh, Galatians chapter three today. And uh, also just wanted to start giving you guys all a heads up that uh, Friday, we're gonna do uh, a fun giveaway. We're gonna do, um, a bigger one, uh, giving away uh, more stuff because Friday is the 150th uh, Jesus Time episode. So 150 of these uh, live in the morning. Um, and so we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna be giving away some good stuff on Friday just for fun to kind of just celebrate uh, a big milestone, 150 episodes. And so the number one way to make sure you're in that drawing is to make sure you've signed up for your uh, Jesus Time Nugget Notebooks. Um, you can do that by going to the Jesus Time page. It's pinned to the top of the page and you can see the link there to, to sign up. And then watch through the rest of the week. Um, every day this week, I will uh, give you some other options to uh, get more entries to win just for fun. And so anyways, just kind of fun stuff to um, just to encourage us to celebrate and recognize a, a cool milestone. So that's a pretty cool deal. So, um, and Zach's birthday, what? I just saw that I'm trying to read comments and do this at the same time. Happy birthday, Zach. Um, hurry up and come home so we can uh, celebrate. Um, so that'd be awesome. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Michelle, good morning. Dennis, uh, good morning to you uh, in Spokane today. Nice, you're not too far north of us up there. Good morning. Scott Peterson, good morning to you. Lori, Carol, Lainita, um, Ron Little, good morning. Let's see, you got uh, I'm Michelle, good morning to you. Angie, good morning to you. So I'm gonna pray for us and, uh, and then we're gonna get into Galatians 3, chat about that a little bit and then get you rolling on your day. So. Uh, Lord, we love you. We just thank you so much for your word. Thanks for um, the direction and guidance uh, the scriptures give us. Lord, uh, as Paul is um, just talking pretty harsh to the Christians in the Galatian churches, um, and he, out of uh, just a sincere care and love for him, he, some of his frustration comes out. And so, Lord, help us to just uh, learn from what was bothering Paul so much so that we don't slip into the same troubles and make the same mistakes that the Galatians did. Um, and so help us uh, 
preemptively uh, learn. And if we've gotten off track, help us to hear the words from Paul and, and uh, course correct. And so uh, just teach us. I just pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So uh, Robin and Peyton and Brody, good morning to you guys. Good to see you on here. Let's get into... Um, Let's get into Galatians 3 and dive in here. Uh, let's see, who else we got somebody new on here? Uh, Sunarte, um, good morning to you. Let us know where you're watching from and how'd you find us. That'd be awesome. All right, Galatians 3 goes like this. Uh, we're just doing the first little chunk of it through verse 7. Uh, o foolish Galatians, who has cast an evil spell on you? For the meaning of Jesus Christ's death was made as clear to you as if you had seen a picture of his death on the cross. Let me ask you this one question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit by obeying the law of Moses? Of course not. You received the Spirit because you believed the message you heard about Christ. How foolish can you be? After starting your Christian lives in the Spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? Have you experienced, um, another word for it translated there is suffered, um, have you suffered so much for nothing? Surely it was not in vain, was it? I ask you again, does God give you the Holy Spirit and work miracles among you because you obey the law? Of course not. It is because you believe the message you heard about Christ. In the same way, Abraham believed God, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. The real children of Abraham, then, are those who put their faith in God. So we'll kind of stop there for this morning. There's a couple things uh, going on here is that um, for the Galatians, it was uh, magic was pretty popular, and, um, and magicians would cast spells and kind of just... Uh, uh, enamor a crowd and and convince people of different things and so paul's sort of mocking them and challenge them a little bit like uh you know who cast an evil spell on you like how where did you how did you take this turn what what went wrong you were you were so on track um and one of the things that's important for us to know and remember is that um for certain some of the galatians um and again remember um Galatia is a region, kind of like saying the Palouse, uh, and there's a lot of different towns in the region. And so this region of Galatia is in Asia Minor, which is now modern day Turkey. It, uh, to, it mounted up to uh, a number of different areas, Lystra, Derby, Iconium, uh, Antioch. And so all of these areas uh, where there was different towns where Paul traveled and planted churches, uh, he refers to them as the Galatians. So they're like all the, the kind of like saying the people from the Pacific Northwest, right? So he's talking to uh, churches um, in a whole region. And so many of those um, Galatians would have traveled to Jerusalem for Pentecost and would have been at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descended. And so they knew without a doubt that they received the Spirit um, at Pentecost and they knew that they didn't receive the Spirit by following the law. And so they, like he's saying, like, you, you've, you know this stuff as if it was painted a picture right before you. Like, you've seen it as clear as clear can be. And so, so he's, he's challenging them um, about, like, how do they get off track? How do they keep getting um, uh, diverted back to believing other things? It's like, he's like, you know that you didn't receive the Spirit by following the law and yet now that you've received salvation you've received god's spirit now you sort of abandon that and you go back to trying to obey the jewish laws and traditions so that you uh look right feel right like it there's some comfort or security that they draw from uh from that and there was also a lot of pressure from uh what was called the judaizers which were jews who wanted people um, that, that they believe that salvation came uh, in addition to faith in Christ, they had to also be Jewish. And so there's a lot of pressure to um, follow all these extra laws and rules um, in order to be right with God. And so it's just a challenge. And so kind of one of the nuggets here, I think for us is um, the same thing that a lot of us struggle with is that it it's, it's appealing, I think, for a lot of people when they're 
uh, first come to know about Christ. They first are drawn to the Lord. They hear the gospel message. Um, they put their faith and trust in Christ. They receive the Spirit. And, and then along the way, they, um, along the way, they are excited and it's new and it's, it's wonderful and there is a lot of joy and excitement about it. But over time, just the monotony of daily life uh, gets the best of you. And, and people start to be drawn to whatever is the new thing, whatever is the thing that gets them exciting or appeals to them. And they wanna just sort of chase after the, I always wanna feel happy, I always wanna feel excited, I always wanna, like whatever's the new fad, that's what I wanna be into. And, and I think a lot of times they, that uh, particularly young believers miss the fact that yes, it is exciting and amazing as you commit your life to Christ in the beginning, there is this joy in your salvation, but then there's also this piece about learning to grow and depend on God's word uh, to guide and direct your uh, path, learning to grow and listen to God's spirit to guide and direct you. And it's oftentimes not all that exciting. It's uh, a little bit humdrum and, and there's just regular old days, um, much like uh, in any relationship we engage in. And so the challenge is um, how do we stay the course and not sway from uh, where we know our salvation comes from is through faith in Christ alone. And so that's good stuff to wrestle with is that just to continually be checking yourself of, am I looking to anything else to, um, to pursue being right with God? Um, am I worrying about pleasing other people? Am I worrying about trying to follow all the right rules? Uh, or am I trusting my salvation to uh, my faith in Christ alone? And so that's just stuff to, to wrestle with that I think is super healthy for us in our relationship with the Lord. So that's the nugget uh, for today. And so don't forget, uh, Friday we're gonna do uh, some big giveaways and have some fun because it's our 150th episode. And I'll tell you throughout the rest of the week a bunch more ways to enter to win. Um, the number one way is to make sure you've signed up to get your Jesus Time uh, Nugget Notebook. If you haven't got that yet, go to the page and uh, find the link there. Um, so let me say hey to a couple more peeps that jumped in here. Um, we've got uh, Jill, good morning to you. Exciting stuff. Jill's daughter, Courtney, got baptized at church yesterday. And uh, if it's been a while since you've seen a baptism, go to our Facebook page for Real Life Church, um, uh, Real Life Church Pullman or you can find us at rlcpullman.com and uh, check out the live stream from Second Service yesterday and uh, celebrate with us as her daughter Courtney committed her life to the Lord and was baptized. Pretty doggone exciting. Um, and then uh, we've got Marianne. Good to see you, Marianne. Praying for you. Uh, Carrie, uh, Elliot, good morning to you. Uh, David with uh, Matt and Judy. Good to see you this morning, bud. Um, uh, Antonio is watching and it looks like you're new with us. So let us know where you're watching from and, uh, how you found us. And we're always excited to see, we've got people watching from all over the States, all over Canada, um, and even in different countries. So it's, uh, pretty fun. So, um, and, uh, by the way, Ron reminded me, uh, we've got a lot of Canadian viewers and it is Thanksgiving in Canada. So happy Thanksgiving to, uh, all you up North, eh? All right, so I'm gonna pray for us and cut you loose to get you rolling on this Monday morning, and we'll see you back here tomorrow, so let me pray. Uh, man, Lord, we love you, and we just thank you so much for your word. We thank you so much for a community of people that um, are committed to be in your word, are committed to wrestle with the text and grow and learn and be uh, grounded in your message um, Lord, help us to just really anchor ourselves to the truth that comes from your scriptures and um, not get swayed by all of the different uh, chaos going around us in the world, uh, whether it's from relatives or media um, or just uh, everyday stuff. Help us to just stay the course following um, your son and his teachings and uh, let our faith in him um, be the thing that uh, confidently saves us. And so we just pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Y'all are awesome. Have a fabulous uh, Monday, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning.